Hey guys, last summer I had an antenna I wanted to build really bad when I was over in Poland, but just never got around to it. Uh, conditions, the 10 meter band at times just wasn't there. Uh, so I kind of scrapped it. Well, you know what? It's a beautiful day today. We're here in the US. We're over 70 Fahrenheit. Spring is coming. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get out and build it right now. What I want to build is a square loop antenna. And basically it is a one, full wavelength long, a, a 10 meter, a little over 10 meter long antenna. I've got a sketch for it here, you can check it out. But um, what I wanna do is I'm gonna put the feed point, which should be about 200 ohms, so about a four to one ballon, uh, halfway up one side, which will make it vertically uh, polarized, which should be pretty cool. Gonna do something else too. I'm going to position this thing where it'll go to the west of me across the United States and to the east, believe it or not, it's like right at South Africa. People go, wow, East South Africa? Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put a link to a great circle map that you can make for yourself. And here's a trivia question for you. Which United States, which state in the USA is the closest state to Africa? And I think about 90% of the people always say Florida. Believe it or not, it's actually Maine, and that is uh, really the truth. These uh, these maps are pretty cool, especially for finding direction, so I'll put a link to that. But anyway, I'm going to get this um, full waiver. I've got it up. I'm going to show it to you. I've been wrestling with it here for a few minutes. I'm going to show you this full wave square loop for the 10 meter band and let's see uh how it does now it should be a little directional it is not completely directional i'm just going to get a little bit of a gain uh a broad side of it it's kind of the it looks something like a jelly bean as far as what i'm putting it out what i'm putting out so um let's go put my jelly bean of a signal in the air and uh, see how we do stick around Okay, here I am. I'm at uh, Portsmouth City Park, and I'm not here so much for the salt water effect. I'm here to get away from noise. This, this is just a really quiet place. And here it is. Uh, you'll see my, I got 50 foot of coax going up to a uh, LDG 4 to 1 ballon. And uh, I'm using speaker wire, 16 gauge speaker wire. And there it is up as a square. The bottom's kind of tight. The top, eh, it's got a little droop, but I think it'll still get by. Um, poles for poles i'm using a uh this is my seven meter dx commander pole i'm using uh these are surf rod holders for uh for fishing on the beach i use them quite a bit the other pole is my six meter pole that i actually bought in poland um at the Catalan sport in europe so if you're european looking for poles these things are man I, it was dirt cheap too so that's it there's the antenna and that way is facing crossed at about 110 degrees from me so it takes me straight across the ocean the the atlantic and kind of down towards uh the south of africa behind me is straight across the united states so let's get on here 10 meters and see how we do i'm using the zygu g90 so this will be 20 watts look at the swr just absolutely perfect perfect swr so um that's going to be fun there's the antenna uh the what i did with the uh coax is i got it up kind of drooped over this little bit of shelter for this picnic table that i'm sitting on here at the park so um there you go great swr let's rock and roll kilo four oscar golf oscar QSL, you're 5'7 as well. I'm in a park, but it's not a Poda Park. I'm in a city park here in uh, Portsmouth, Virginia. 20 watts portable myself. You sound amazing. Great audio there. Dude, I'm on a Zygu G90 with a hamstick on top of my car. Right on. I'm on a Zygu G90 on ice. Zygu G90 on ice. Right on. I'm on a Zygu G90. I built a square loop. I've got a square loop on two poles, uh, a full wavelength for 10 meters, and I've kind of got it aimed uh, west, straight across the country at you. You, you're the same. I tell you what, you're sounding great. Uh, this antenna, I, I will tell you, it, it receives better than anything I've built in a long time. But uh, yeah, your signal's well, it's just as well, and it's so cool. Uh, G90 to G90, there, brother. Good, to, good to get you. G90, rock on the G90 Army. Take care, and uh, thanks for calling today. Really appreciate it, brother. Seventy-three. Hey.
Hey, thanks for activating. 73, my friend. Uh, you're 59 as well into Virginia. Thank you. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. QSL, QSL, you're 5 by 8 as well. I'm in Virginia, 20 watts portable, and uh, you have a great signal. Yeah. Thanks for the 50, yeah, no problem, okay? Very fine. Also, two contacts before to the port on the wild. What did I see? You are two contacts in the port on Torso in the 40 meter band, uh, 73, bye bye. Thank you, it's good to get you here in the States as well in my US log. Thank you so much, bye bye. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Yeah, hello to you uh, This is uh, 2 Echo Zero India Hotel Uniform And the name is Ian India Alpha November Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Good afternoon my brother Nice to call you 57 in Brazil My name is Harry Mike Hotel Echo Lima India Oscar QSL, Helio, thank you so much for uh, taking my call again. Good to make contact with you. Hope you're doing well, my brother. I'm uh, portable with 20 watts and a square loop, a square loop here in Virginia. Oh, your square loop in Virginia, 20 watts work very well, my brother. Of course, you are 5 and 7, 57 in Boa Vista, Brazil. QSL? Echo 7, zero you Tango? Know, where is that, Dan? Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Yeah Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar you're 59 into Virginia Hey thank you for the 59 Wow, what a cool antenna. This was a good one. I'm having fun. It receives so well. I just hear, I'm hearing so well with it. Kind of too well. I've heard uh, some South Pacific and some Hawaii, and the pileups are just crazy. I can't break them. It's kind of funny. The contacts I'm making are not off the broad side of it. It's this way. And uh, But, you know, I, I knew it was omnidirectional. I'm just getting a little bit of gain that way. Um, so it's a full wavelength for 10. I wonder if uh, I can tune it as a half wave loop and try it on 20 meters. Let's give that a try. Yeah, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, I think it's Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, is that right? Hi, uh, QSL, QSL, you're 5'7 into Virginia. I'm portable as well, 20 watts. Okay, Walter, uh, I'll give you a 5'5, five, 5'5, five, 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 Ohio, from Kilo 8111, QSL. QSL, thanks for the 5'5, five, five. all the best, 73. Wow, what a fun experiment, man. I really enjoyed playing with that antenna. I just cannot get over. I think I said this before when I, uh, last time I used a Delta loop, how wonderful and clear uh, the receive is. The receive of these things, just amazing. Uh, went over to the 20 and, uh, and uh, tuned it up and made a contact. Probably not the best antenna for 20, but um, I was on 12 and uh, there was a, a guy in Hawaii. His pilot was just massive. It tuned real quick for 12. And uh, I just didn't want to sit there and, and, and try to make that contact. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to to, to see if it worked. I think it would, but um, the bottom line is it's it's for 10 meters. It's it's a it's a really a monoband antenna, and I'm just kind of using this G90s ATU to tune it for whatever I want to use it for. For 10, it did well. Like I said, uh, I really am surprised. Uh, that Europe, I, I think if I spun that thing around and, and, and had it broadside the other way, I might have even had better contacts that way. Because um, I, I could really, I could hear stuff 
uh, west of me really well and, uh, and like in New, New Caledonia a lot of places I just couldn't get through pileups um, Hawaii I did hear somebody talking to, to a ZL station and I just he was so weak I didn't even try but um, what a fun antenna to play with what a great experiment something I wanted to do a long time ago um, I need bigger poles and make a bigger square loop but um pretty cool I think I might try it another time and feed it from the bottom and make it uh, horizontally um, uh, uh, polarized instead of a uh, vertical but it was fun playing with it vertical as well well there you go there's the experiment I had a good time um, if you like this kind of stuff watching me play with antennas and then maybe getting some ideas and go out and improving upon them hey please like and subscribe until next time I'm Walt K4 OGO all the best in 73 my friends